Okay, so for this question, we're going to have to recreate this shape on our square grid using this square that we can drag the corners and it moves around like that. Let's give the question a read through and then we'll do it properly. Here is a prism of perpendicular height, 90 centimeters. Um, that's really important, perpendicular height. Uh, so this thing it's saying here, it's, it's telling you how tall the prism is. Uh, the perpendicular part just means it's this height and not like the diagonal height. So it's this and not that. Anyway, so its height is 90 centimeters. The front elevation of the prism is a trapezium with one line of symmetry. Draw the front elevation of this prism on the grid. Use the scale 1 to 20. So front elevation just means we're going to be looking at it from the front. Uh, so we just need to recreate this trapezium on our grid. Now the scale 1 to 20 means that everything on the grid needs to be 20 times smaller. So this uh, uh, length across the top isn't actually going to be 60 squares, it's going to be 20 times less. So I can work out how long each side needs to be on the grid by doing 60 divided by 20. So each square, so on, on the grid, the top of my trapezium needs to be three squares wide. So I can start by doing the top of my shape like that. Now we were told also in the question that the prism's height is 90 centimeters. So that's how tall, you know, that, that's how tall it's going to be. You know, it's going to be a bit like this or whatever, and the height needs to be 90. But the scale is 1 to 20. So instead of being 90 squares high, it's 20 less. Because on the grid, it's going to be 20 times smaller. So 90 divided by 20 equals 4.5. So it needs to be 4.5 squares tall. So something like that. Now this is only very rough, of course, because we know it's got the right width across the top and we know it's the right height, but we haven't done the bottom yet. Now that on the picture is 140 centimeters wide, but scale of 1 to 20 means that this is 20 times bigger than the number of squares it takes. So 140 divided by 20 is 7, so it needs to be 7 squares wide. Now at the moment it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so I just need to make it 1 square wider and that's looking like what I want my answer to be. But uh, it says again up here that the, the trapezium has one line of symmetry. So let's just check that it does have a line of symmetry down the middle because I could have made it like this, for example. And then it's seven squares across the bottom and three squares and you know, everything else is fine. But this would not have one line of symmetry so it wouldn't be full marks. However, how I had it a minute ago like that, that does have a line of symmetry. Yeah, yeah that does have a line of symmetry down the middle. So um, that's it. It's got the right width across the top, th three squares to represent 60 centimeters, the right width across the bottom, seven squares to represent 140, and the height, we're told in the question, not on the picture, that the height is 90, which we divided by 20 to work out that the height needed to be 4.5 squares. Uh, and that's it. That's how we do this question. Hope that helps.